All right, y'all. I'm sure everybody's heard by now that Dwight Howard was trending on Twitter in a big way last night. So let's get into some things about it. Uh, first things first, this is Dwight Howard. For anybody that doesn't know, if you are a um, Basketball Wives fan, you'll know back in the day his baby's mom, uh, Royce Reed, was on Basketball Wives. Um Really didn't have too much of an interesting storyline because she, I guess, had signed an NDA, basically a gag order. So she couldn't really speak about him. Um, I don't think she could even really speak about her kid on the show. Um, But we'll get into Royce a little later. Um, Basically, this person right here is the person that essentially has outed Dwight Howard um, for essentially being gay, uh, into gay men, transsexual men, etc. She has accused Dwight Howard of sexually harassing her, threatening her. Um, She has also accused his camp and pastor of um, being you know, threatening towards, excuse me, him, him, because I believe he, um, goes, this person, I believe, um, goes or presents himself as a gay man. Um, even though he does wear a wig or weave, I I do believe he identifies as a gay man. Um, so as you can see right here, it's a thread of tweets and screen grabs and videos, etc. But this was the first um, tweet in the thread, which basically says, hey, before today, I was afraid to speak no more and basically says, you know, d- refers to Dwight Howard as being an ex-boyfriend and accuses his camp and pastor of being um, threatening, disrespectful, etc. So also tagged him. Mm. Okay. So the second tweet, she goes on to say that, you know, the team and the pastor have been threatening him over, you know, an unsigned NDA and trying to intimidate him into taking hush money, etc. And then he goes on to say how he met Dwight Howard. Um, and some of us do remember that Wild and Out show where Dwight was twerking and on the back of his shirt, he didn't have his name. I think he had um, Harry Penis kind of spelled out, you know, in a in a funny way, but I believe the shirt, the back of Dwight's shirt on Wild and Out did um say Harry Penis. But either way, that's where she's saying she met him. Um basically she goes, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, it, he he goes into saying that um they began talking online through uh direct messages that the conversation escalated to news being sent and video chatting and things getting serious. Um basically say, hey, he was fine, six one, no kids, blah, blah, blah. Kept it real with this person except for one thing. Fast forward, this person alleges, hey, they've met um face to face. And so what is attached is um, basically, I guess, a conversation via direct messaging. And so I'll show you all what that says. He just says, hey, in case anybody tries to say, I guess in so many words that Dwight is not into men, you'll see in the direct messages that he's basically saying, hey, no girl in case his team tried to say like, oh, Dwight thought all along he was talking to a girl or a woman, what have you. He basically says, hey, ain't no girl going to ask you the following. And I'll show you all what basically what that is. So as you can see right here, um, this person is allegedly talking to Dwight Howard. And in so many words, ask him, let me back it up. Let me back it up. Ask him, hey, does your mother, brother, friends know that you like to deal with trans and men? 
you can see that if this person is supposed to be Dwight Howard, they say, why are you asking me? Uh, the other person says, I'd like to know. Um, the person that's allegedly Dwight Howard says, I don't want to answer why I don't blah, blah. And so we'll move on a little bit. So the person that's allegedly Dwight Howard is basically saying, Hey, it's nothing to know. Like this person is still asking. This person goes back. Dwight Howard has that under his profile, like the be free, blah, blah. So basically like the person that's supposed to be Dwight Howard is not saying anything like not incriminating himself at all in, in that exchange. So we move on. This person is saying allegedly that they were at some games, couldn't travel to every game, but that they were, you know, in communication, calling, etc. Let me back it up. So that was the end of one of the conversations that was posted online. So we move on from that. Focus. And now here's where it gets interesting, because I think this is why all of this happened. Basically, this person found out that Dwight was was sleeping around with other people and participating in essentially orgies. But that's not what I'm saying, Dwight. They know that that's not what I'm saying. Okay, you're trying to. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is that you're asking me a question to be very transparent and vulnerable with you. But that goes back to trust, too. Like, I I, I want to be able to trust you without it being a hostile environment or an issue between me and you. Like, before all this other stuff came into play. Uh, in my opinion, that was a whole bunch of nothing. But either way, it was posted online. So, so you know, I let y'all hear it. But in my opinion, that that was a whole that was just a whole lot of nothing. Um, so let's move on. So then, again, because I think this person is hot that they got cheated on, they also posted a picture of this is supposedly um, a transgender that they were saying that um, that Dwight had allegedly had um, a sexual relationship with. Called her a prostitute.